so we've seen the main functions of the root that is absorption and then anchoring of the plant and providing the necessary water and minerals to the other parts of the plant and we've seen the two types of root that is the tap root and the fibrous root and tap roots are also known as edible tap roots because of we have the vegetables like carrot beetroot coriander uh, parsley etc next we will move on to the fibrous root so if you take the fibrous root the fibrous root have leaves with parallel venation so this is called your parallel venation the fibrous root some plants with fibrous root system include grasses, wheat, rice, corn, rosemary, coconut, etc. So these plants have a fibrous root system. That is, the leaves appear with parallel venation. And the plants that have fibrous root are your grasses, wheat, rice, mary, rosemary, coconut, etc. If we uproot a, a rice plant or a wheat plant, we can see the fibrous root system. The roots move more horizontally than vertically. So the roots of a, a fibrous plant moves more horizontally than vertically, but they cannot penetrate deeper into the soil. When compared to a tap root, a fibrous root cannot penetrate deeper into the soil. It also cannot act as an organ for food storage. Like how in a tap root it acts as a food storage device, a fibrous root cannot act as a food storage like in some plants with the tap root system. As it is fixed on the surface of the soil, if you see a fibrous root, plant it can be uprooted very easily when compared to a tap root because the tap root penetrates very deep into the ground because it goes in search of water but a fibrous root remains on the surface of the soil so it is considered crucial for the prevention of soil erosion so as it is fixed on the surface of the soil it is considered crucial. Crucial means important for the prevention of soil erosion as they hold the surface firmly. So the fibrous root, it remains on the surface of the soil and it holds on to the soil firmly and hence it prevents the soil erosion that is the moving away of the soil in case of floods, heavy rains etc. They can also absorb the fertilizers more efficiently than the tap root system. So since the fibrous roots are on the surface of the soil, the minerals or the fertilizers that are used for the growth of the plant is absorbed more easily by the fibrous root than by a tap root. It is assumed to have evolved before the tap root. So the fibrous root was evolved before the tap root. It is usually formed by thin moderately branching roots growing from the stem. So this is the stem and it has thin moderately branching roots growing from the stem. And it looks like a mat made out of roots when the tree has reached full mat maturity. So when the tree has reached its mature stage if you take a look at the fibrous root it appears like a mat when the tree has reached full maturity it is a root that has no prominent central axis and that branches in all directions when you compare a tap root it has a thick root that goes deep into the ground but a fibrous root does not have a prominent central axis and it branch the roots branches in all directions so this is what is a fibrous root so the fibrous root has leaves with parallel venation and the plants that have fibrous root are your grasses wheat rice rosemary coconut etc and the roots move more horizontally than vertically and 
If you compare a fibrous root to a tap root, a fibrous root cannot penetrate deep into the ground and it remains on the surface. And since it remains on the surface of the soil, it holds the soil firmly and does not allow soil erosion and it is able to it is able to acquire the fertilizers it is able to absorb the fertilizers more efficiently and it is considered to be evolved before the tap root and it as it does not have a central axis but as branches roots branching in all directions so this is about the tap root and the fibrous root